So you don't have a problem cutting people off. Hello. Wow. Ikaw nga, base mag-black, di ba? <laughs> Nagsabi lang ang cute mo, <laughs> naka-black na. <laughs> Welcome to the Paco's Place Podcast. Visit abbotteservices.com for fast medical transcription service. This podcast episode is brought to you by AB Music Creative. And the podcast will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, live at Paco's Place. Big round of applause. Miss Gigi Star. Hello, hello, hello. Ang mic mo. Ang malayo ba? Kailangan ilapit mo talaga. Yeah. Okay. Yan. Naalala ko dati, 2011, 2011. Ang galing na memory mo. Ginagawa mo na to bago ko palang ginagawa to. <laughs> Shout out nga pala kay Nolly Yu. Oh, wow. Kailan pa ko sino yung producer, ha? Mm-hmm. And, okay. and um, gusto ko yun. Yung, when, when you guys, it's very humbling. Eh. That's, mm-hmm. that's where we really um, connected. Mag-usap tayo ron, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, okay itong ginagawa ni Gigi. Ha? Yes. That and, was in Glendale, 2011. Bakit tinigil nyo? Siguro, ano, time-consuming. At the same time, like, we became very busy with each other's lives. Ah, yeah. isa pa, si Mick Diaz, yun, may ginagawa rin ganito. Si Mick, doon ko na-meet si Mick noong during the pandemic. Ako rin. Yeah, doon ko siya na-meet. At sabi, sino ba to? Mga bagong sulpot. <laughs> ako naman, nairita ako dito. Sino ba to? <laughs> Hindi, alam. Mga bagong sulpot sa community, sino ba to? Pero, you know, it turned out to be, she became one of my friends, si Mick. And because ano eh, here right now. Oh. alam mo yung, yeah, andito si Mick sa studio. Pero yeah. kahit wala si Mick sa studio, alam mo yung feeling na hindi naman niya kailangan gawin. Kasi naintriga ako sa kanya eh. So I called her up. Mm-hmm. Say ko, why are you even doing this? Mm-hmm. Passion niya. Yeah. It's so much fun. Especially like interviewing. It's just chit-chatting. Getting to know how they started. Oh, diba? right. Paano ka nag-start? Okay. Naku. Background. We've known each other for more than a decade. Tayong dalawa. Okay. You sing. You host. Pero when people see you in the entertainment part of life, Ang hindi nila alam, you are a healthcare hero. Yes. Hindi nila alam yun. Hindi nila alam na nurse ka. Hindi nila alam na yeah. na meron kang alter ego. Yeah. I, I don't I don't really announce it. Every time I'm I'm an entertainer, I mostly focus on entertaining people. But sometimes I joke around like, oh, the nurses or o oh, tama yuto kayo, baka maga DVT kayo jana. Magugod na sila. But alam mo mga oh. term, mga DVT. The nurses out there, hello. So they know the, the term DVT. They, so you know, I just joke around with it. But as much as I can, I want I'm fo- I'm focused more on entertainment, entertaining the the oh. people. Yes, yun ang main goal ko. Balik tayo sa Pilipinas. Kailan ka nagsimula sa entertainment? Sa Philippines, um, when I was, ako man, lamang ng edad. Hindi na. Wala, wala, wala nang taon. <laughs> wala na. So sa Philippines, ano, ako yung girl nung, alam mo yung Urban Flow? Have you heard of oh. that? Yeah. So I did like some uh, music videos with them. Um, um, the female. Kahit sa intro voice, gumawa ka ng music video. Diba? Asan oh. na yun? Ba't hindi lumabas? Lumabas yun. Alam mo ba? Oh. Okay. Kailanman? With, ano? With, with Leandro? Oo. Oh, oh. oh. um, okay. Pero ang maganda ron, one day notice yun. Mm-hmm. And you 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 showed up for us. Of course, Thank you. Yeah. Okay, going back. Okay. So, Urban Flow, ikaw, ikaw ang babae yeah, sa music video yeah, niya. Yeah, yun. Tapos, I was uh, doing some bo- backup vocals for Octo Arts, mga The Ilakads. Pero kasi sobrang party-party na ako sa Philippines, sa Manila. Sobrang party. I just wanted to be out of Manila. Because I was born and raised there in Manila. Uh, they were planning to do some recording for me. Because I did backup vocals for Freestyle. I did the back of uh, some the female vocals for Urban Flow. We did shows like iba ibang mga province, no? I just just decided I don't want to be in Manila anymore. I want to be in the in America. Pero nurse ka na rin sa Manila I time na yun. I was uh, I graduated uh, communication. Wow. Sa CEU. Okay. I finished my bachelor's for communication. Sa CEU. CEU. Give me the dentistry. If I knew, oh. oh my god, I was just like I say parents kunon parang I just want to be able I just want to make them happy. I just want to finish my college just to make them happy. But you know what? I'm so happy that I finished my I finished my bachelor's for communication because I can use it right now. Yeah. Diba? Parang doon mo ma-realize parang I'm so glad I yes. finished my education. Yes. Si Iyo katabi Wendy's, diba? Tsaka San Beda. San Holy Spirit. Mm. Bakit mo naisipan pumunta ng Amerika? Uh, it's to, to have a better life, you know? Kasi America is like a, a land of opportunities. Ano yung bigla mo lang naisip? You know, pumunta ako Amerika. It's a land of opportunities. Plus, I'm just sick of like partying in Manila. Laman ako ng mga club nun dun, mga Where Else, Mars, Limits. 
Name it. Hindi siya may iniwanak ang boyfriend kaya ka pumunta ng Amerika. Hindi dito siya nun. O oh, so may hinabol ka. Kita mo, <laughs> laging may story eh. Hindi yung pagod na ako sa Pilipinas. Hindi, come on. Hindi, nandito siya nun pero... So nag ldr kayo yung dalawa. Um, ano siya, Tapos, back and forth. Pero mm, that's uh, one of the reasons why I liked it here. The weather... Hindi, hindi, hindi. Hihimayin ko yan. Ano ka? Himay. <laughs> so, nasa Philippines ka. Uh-huh. Andito siya. Uh-huh. Siyempre, sa akin na naman nagpunta. Ganyan. Nag-uusap kayo. Uh-huh. So, para maayos na, punta lang ng Amerika. Uh-huh. Tignan natin how it, it will work. You, you got on the plane. Nagpunta ka rin. Anong pinaalam mo sa magulang mo? I was with my mom okay. when I came here. Alam niya hindi ka nahuwi. Sabi sa kanya, okay na ako dito, mom. <laughs> Uwi ka na, basta ako okay ako dito. Ayaw so pa ng mami ko na... So nakita kayo ni boyfriend nung pagdating mo rito? I, I was staying at his place. Okay. Yeah. Pero nag, nagbago yung, ano, yung preference ko nun. <laughs> Time out. ako ng Amerika, nagbago siya. Time out, okay. So Pinoy itong si boyfriend, si ex, yes. di ba? Pagdating mo rito, and the reason why I wanna talk about this, we have blinders eh. Akala natin ito na yung mm-hmm. mundo. Yeah. Until we travel the world. Mm-hmm. And then we find out na, teka muna, teka muna, Magabago time out. Magabago taste mo. Oh. Mm-hmm. Was it easy to be honest with yourself or was it difficult? It was easy for me. Because I need a big change in my life. I'm, I'm just sick of like um, living in Manila, partying. I wanted to be able to explore the US. So paano mo sinabi kay ex na tama na to? He just actually felt it. Uh, I acted differently towards him. Nagbago yung, nag-change gear ako. Ooh. Yeah, change gear. And then, I think he was able to accept it. Kasi nakita niya na medyo nagbago yung, masyado ako naging sobrang motivated. Masyadong gusto ko parang sobrang overachiever. I was in my, you know, I was young then. So I'm just like, <laughs> ayoko na magsabi na edad. <laughs> like yung sinasabi, and I, I said this once, for some reason, kahit sinong Pinoy, kadalasan na, 90, more than 90%, ng Pinoy, kahit batugan sa Pilipinas, mm-hmm. pag di na lang mo sa ibang bansa, maasenso. Because you know what? They see a lot of opportunities here that we don't see in the Philippines. So mm-hmm. and when we see that opportunity, plus dollars pa, di ba? Isipin mo yung one dollars equivalent to like 50, 50 pesos. Oh. Isipin mo, magkaroon ka ng 20 dollars, meron ka ng 1,000. So I think it's the motivation of being successful and of course, I think money, you know? So sa Pilipinas, nagpa-party, like, party, party ka. Pagdating dito, um, nagbahay-bahayang ka, na nag Nauna ba ang, teka, mag-aaral ako or, ma, ma, teka, ayusin ko muna ito, i-reset ko muna yung buhay ko. So, how did it work for you? Paano, ano yung, paano nag-germinate sa utak mo? I mean, kapag may goal ka, kasi talaga, pag, if you're being stagnant or like, um, being in one place for like a long period of time, let's say you wanna have a car, you wanna, you know, may, may oh. mga good goals and dreams ka. Kasi pag sa Manila ka, pag, you know, what, what I was doing back there, I was like, um, Nag-go girl ako yung Gilby's Girls. Oh, mga, yung mga yeah, girl. mga ganyan. Hornitos. Oo, oh, yeah, mga Gilby's Girls. <laughs> yung papapagpapasyat. Yeah, dati pa yung MBA, yung, yung PBA, may MBA. Mm, yeah. So we, we, we flew to Davao, Cebu City, ganyan. And then parang wala eh, walang progress. So but, ah, but here, mo gagawin I know, yun, di ba? but here if you work, if hindi ka tamad dito, you're gonna make a, you can make money, you can be able, you're able to like fix your credit and you'll be able to, to um, make it happen, the American dream. So, kaya mo na-realize yan, part na yan? Nung pagdating ko dito, kasi nakita ko marami opportunities talaga. Talagang goal-oriented na ako nung pagpunta ko pa lang dito. Tapos from there, sabi ko, So, sinabi mo sa mami mo, umuwi ka na. I'll be okay here. How many daughters does your mom have? I'm the only one. The so, youngest and the only so, girl. So, ano ang pakiramdam niya? Siyempre, sad talaga siya. Is pero, she still around? Um, this year, she I'm passed. sorry, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, she's in a better place right now. So, nung, nung time yeah. na iniwanan ka niya, what was the conversation like? Dati pa nun, yung card pa. Yung oh. hindi pa yung parang messenger. Yung tatawag ka, scratch mo siya, tapos hindi pa alam yung time. It was hard, but you know what? It was a struggle, but at the same time, if you're motivated to do something else, kasi sad na ako nun, sa Manila na ako, eh, pa nakaka-depress. Mm. Dito parang iba, iba yung environment, so I'm really motivated. So for me, I am more of a, like, wanted to like reach something in life. I'm very motivated. Kaya for me, hindi na yung, hindi na ako emotional. I didn't use my emotions anymore. I use my head over. Okay. I use my head on top of my heart. Was it, was it hard? Yung totoo ha? Hindi. Um, well, you, there are times that I miss them. Of course, I'll cry, you know, once in a while. But for me, I divert my mind doing something else. And like what I said, I tried to be not too emotional. Paano? Paano ginagawa yun, Gigi? I kept, I kept myself busy all the time. Eh, pag ikaw na lang mag-isa? Tinutulog ko na lang. 
mahirap talaga, no? Oo, oh, oh, tinutulog ko na Kasi lang. Kasi totoong sarili mo is emotional, pero you have to really fight against yeah. it. And you'll cry. It's nice to cry. It's good to cry. Because um, yung burden mo, mas luluwag yung, yung pakiramdam mo pag if you cry. Yeah. So tapos nun, kaya alam mo naiisip na mag-aaral ulit for nursing? Because uh, when, when I was here, right, I moved to Vegas. So I was a cocktail waitress in Vegas. Bartender and cocktail waitress in Vegas. Nag-aaral ka ng bartending? I did. Kasi parang wala kong idea kung paano mag-bartend eh. I don't know the type of glasses to use. I don't know anything about what type of alcohol. So I just l- need to learn the basics. So I've learned the basic. Galing. So when I've learned the basic, when I, when I moved to Vegas, sabi ko, ang trabaho ko dito. Eh, hindi naman ako dito taga America. I'm a non-English speaker, right? Uh-huh. So what's the best job? Easy money. Cocktail waitress. Eh, wala naman ako alam. First time ko maghawak ng tray, lahat na laglag yung mga baso. Talagang lahat nagbagsakan. Pero sabi ko, I really need to do this kasi kailangan ang, ang daming pera na tip yeah. sa pag-actual waiter sa casino. So I did that. And um, um, so from Vegas, sabi ko no sa parang, I, I didn't want to do this anymore. How long where, did where, you do that? Two years. Too lo- I, I say it always like, two long years. Two long years? Kasi yeah. laging parang sexy outfit. Oh. And then it's repetitive. My, my brain became rusty. At saka yung feeling na, alam mo yung kailangan nagpapaganda ka kahit deep inside, iba yung emotions yeah. mo. Yeah. I came to the point na I hated people at that time. Like, I'm gonna go to work. Before I, I first started the knock shift, the graveyard uh, shift. Graveyard knock shift, 2 a.m. Yeah. till 10 a.m. That was my first year of um, shift. Tapos after that, the swing shift ako. The swing shift is from 6 p.m. till 2 a.m. That's the money-making shift. Mm-hmm. I made so much money. Mga tao dun, misan, bibigyan ka na ng $100 sa tray mo. Yung black chips, no? Or, I, I bartended one time. Somebody just gave me a $1,000 chip. I was uh, bartending in a high roller table games. It was a daytime, too. Just like, what's this peach chip? Peach. <laughs> Sabi ko, I haven't seen a peach chip before. Then when I saw it, like, thousand dollars wow. dang like I was like okay yung mga tip na gano'n tax free yun and then may tax ad- kailangan mo declare yun I think so Vegas. yeah I think that's part of like um, kasi they, they're gonna count it at the end of the day okay so yeah so it's gonna be taxed okay and then after that I was like I'm sick of um, wearing you know repetitive eh sabi ko parang walang hindi siya ano eh Hindi siya fulfilling. It's not, it's not ano, a career. It's not no, a career. It's pantawid not, lang siya. Oo. Oh, oh, parang you make so much money mm. but at the same time parang it's empty. Walang fulfillment. Walang fulfillment. So I decided to like um, after Vegas I have to go back to school and then I... Wait. After Vegas you have to go back to school. So while in Vegas hindi ka nag-aaral doon? I did some courses at the community college. Wala kang kamag-anak dito? No one. Wala talaga. Wala. So wala yung, wala yung uwi mo na ako sa bahay ng tita ko, mag-aaral wala. ako, walang ganun. Pero I'm so lucky enough to meet a lot of people that I consider them as my family. And they consider them as, they consider me as their family too. Okay, so you had support. So so finally, Bat California, ay ang mura-mura sa cheap, Vegas. It's a cheap ang school dito. Mm. And I wanted to go back to San Francisco then, but I found a school here, the cheaper school here. Here is Los Angeles. We're yes, in Los yeah. Angeles, yeah. So I found a school mm. here, tapos... Ayun, sabi pa na iba, mahirap mag-nursing. So talagang dun, na-realize mo na, teka muna. Ayoko na. Pag, pag ayoko na, maalis ka agad ako. I don't try to stay in one place. Maybe that's the reason why I'm not married. <laughs> oh, you're not married? <laughs> yeah. Okay. If, if I feel like I feel being stagnant, I feel like I want to do something else. Hindi ba ADHD yun? Meron din. Pwede. <laughs> pwede. At pwede. Yeah. Pero natapos mo nursing, ha? Yeah, at first sabi nila, parang ano, sabi mahirap yung mag-nursing. Hindi ka, sabi ko, utak ko nun, parang hindi ko na ata kaya mag-aral. Ganyan. Una nga pagpasok ko sa, ano, sa school, pa naka-sexy. Ang init eh. Uh-huh. It was in the valley. It's like probably like, um, like almost 100 degrees. Sabi nung isang classmate ko, sabi, she must be in the wrong class. May gumano. Oo, oh, oh, kasi yung suot ko nun, nainitan ako, mainit eh. No? Saan ang suot mo? Parang summer dress. Yeah, summer dress. But Ano naman yung summer dress para sa'yo? Kasi ang summer dress para sa ibang tao, baka iba yung summer dress para sa'yo. Summer dress, mga sleeveless, mga dress, ganyan. Pero I proved them, I proved my classmates wrong. I was a, I was a good student. Matatas I was really grades mo. Oh, yeah. I was really good in school. I, kasi, ano eh, I was really fascinated with learning. 
gusto, gusto ko mag-aral eh. Kasi nung, high, nung college, I just want to be able to make my, my parents happy. Mm, tapos na. Sabihin ko, okay, pa-party ako. Minsan, nauwi pa ako alas 4 na umagap, galing gimmick. Pasok ko alas, ano, mga maaga, parang... May pasa lang, kumbaga, di ba? Mapasa lang. Maka Pero I'm so, I'm so thankful I, I, I was able to finish my college. Yeah. Okay. So now, sinabi mo sa mami mo na, oh, ma, nag-aaral ako ulit. Anong reaction naman niya? She was happy about it. So she wasn't happy with the whole Vegas thing? She was okay with it as long as I'm here in America. Okay. Happy siya. Yeah. So nung sinabi mo nag-nursing ka? Basta hindi ako mawalan ka. maano ng landas na yung parang mapadrugs, mapa... Yung wrong yeah. direction in life, yeah. So nung sinabi mo nag-nursing ka, was she confident na matatapos mo yun? Um, I think so. She knows that I'm smart. I'm just not using it. <laughs> I used to just party a lot, no? Pero... Ano, meron pa pala akong brain. <laughs> Kaya ako tinatanong, was your mom patient with you? She was very patient and very religious. Maybe that's the reason why I'm in the right path. Kasi kaya ako tinatanong, there are, there are kids, di ba, na party ng party. Mm-hmm. And ang audience natin, may mga magulang tayong mm-hmm. nanonood na medyo frustrated minsan sa mga anak nila. Is it safe to say na hindi kasi nakal ng nanay mo Anong... Sinakala ko na mami ko nung ano, high school, college. Tagal sinasabunutan ako nung pag umuwi ako ng madaling araw. So paano ka nag... What made you turn around? I just really, really told her and promised her. And I, I, I told her like, Mom, you, have to, you don't have to worry about me. I got this. So dapat ba maniwala ang anak pag sinabi ng anak? Ayun nang maniwala ang magulang pag sinabi ng anak yun. Yeah, I think so. Kasi ano yun eh, that's your blood, di ba? You have to really give them the trust. Ewan and ko. then at the same time, guidance. Guidance, siguro tsaka prayer siguro. Hmm, kasi like, like, tignan mo ha, isa-set up ko yung ikaw, ililalagyan kita na sa lamin. Isipin mo na yung anak mo, si Gigi Star, na party ng party, na naka-summer dress, <laughs> di ba? Na hindi ka naman nagdadamit madre pag nagpa-party ka. Yes. Right? Ikaw ang bunso, mm-hmm. only girl, aalis ka, huwi ka ng alas 4 ng umaga, Kung gawin ng anak mo yan, ano sabihin mo? Oo, oh, kumain ka na ba? Mm-hmm. Yung ba sasabihin mo or? Siyempre, siguro gagawin ko rin yung ginawa ng mami ko. Exactly. Sasabunutan ko din exactly. yung talagang, it, ano. Tapos sinabi ng anak mong si Gigi Star na, Mami Gigi, huwag kang mag-aalala. I got this. Mm-hmm. Maniniwala ka, hindi. I would. Yung totoo, kasi, ha? Kasi siguro pag, ano, you really have to set them free. Whatever path they choose. But you always have to give them guidance. Did your mom do that? Yeah. So, so your mom was your mom really held your hand. Yeah, I saw. Her, I, yeah, I saw her like how she worked hard, mm-hmm. and I don't want. I don't. It's payback time for me. Yun yung nasakin. Payback time for me for my, for my especially my mom to like. Yung so, yung, yung hirap. Sacrifices. Yung hirap na, na ganon. Yeah. Parang ano ba? Di ba? Parang gusto mo naman na ibalik sa kanila yung yung nagawa na siya na. She actually raised me to be in private school in Manila. I got I have good education and that's what I'm proud of. So I see mo. And nakakatuwa yung yung mga yung kinukuwento mo dahil there is gratitude in your heart. Eh. Mm-hmm. Kahit ba no nagre-rebelde ka, did you have gratitude or was Always. that was that something na na-develop mo na lang? Nagigilty ako, syempre. So Guilty. Tsaka yung may tama ko last one time hindi ako umuwi. Talaga na nahal- niya ako na sana ko. Talaga no nakita niya ako, talaga may wallet siya, talaga. Si talagang yan do pa yung mga barkada ko na ano yung mga tao, talaga takot sila. Talaga nang pasa ko ng wallet. <laughs> siguro siguro yun na takot ko rin. Kaya I, I became a, a good person, you know? Kasi talagang darating ka sa face na talagang rebelde ka, yeah. na parang feeling mo ganun. But eventually I think you have to put good good out there and good things will come back to you. Amen. If you have a good heart, everything will come back. Kasi pag masama, masama kang tao, talagang masasurround ka ng mga samang tao and right. then you'll make wrong choices in life. So, ngayon, nurse ka na, kailan mo sinabing kakanta ulit ako? Nauna ba yung kanta bago mag-nursing? Ang pagkanta o? outlet sa akin yan eh. I don't even think I'm a good singer. I just do it for fun. And at the same time, it just so happened because I think if I'm on stage, I'm a different person too. I like to entertain people and people are fascinated by me. So for me, I make it like um, a part-time hustle job. Uh-huh. And I'm lucky enough na may mga, may nag-hire sa akin. So I think that's the most important thing when you do entertainment. You don't do it like parang desperately na 
this is my um bread and butter bread and butter uh-huh. yeah you do it in a pa- uh, 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 like as your passion and then and if you do it parang nakita na mga tao na parang na, na, na entice sila say parang nakakatuwa naman to <laughs> to think about it i've been doing it since 2007 wow so filipino in Phil am in la right and i'm still here i'm still around oh and you have, a, you, have you have your own brand yes yes tapos ang nakakatuwa pa ron and I hope I hope you guys catch on to this. Uh, itong kwento na to. So you nakilala kita as an as an entertainer. Okay, that's how I met you. Mm-hmm. That's how I perceived you. Not mm-hmm. as a nurse, not as anything else, yeah. but as an entertainer. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's a singer dito sa local scene sa LA. And when I saw you bartending, ah okay. When I saw you bartending, you still had that confidence mm-hmm. of a bartender. Mm-hmm. The shift, okay, like sinay mo kanina, you don't want people to know na nurse ka pag nag nurse ka. Pero I have friends who've said that you're a good nurse. Okay, thank okay? you. <laughs> Tapos ikaw, sinasay mo ngayon na pag nag entertain ka, hindi ka mukhang desperado. But since 2007, binibigyan mo sila ng entertainment, natutuwa sila sa'yo. And may conviction yon. Let's talk about that conviction because mapa-bartender, mapa-entertainer um, or host or singer or guest or nurse. What is the preparation to go into your role? If I'm already there, I'm already present. It just automatically just changed that. So ex- expound on that because at dali sabihin eh, ang hirap gawin nun. Pero for me, it's just automatic. It just switch. Let's say sometimes I, I don't even, misa na surprise ako sa ko. Because right now I do theory. I'm a, a theory instructor for nurses. So I really have to study my subject, right? So I'm teaching a med surge. I'm thinking about urinary system. Bakit mo naisip gawin yan? Yan. I love it. Oh, so na, okay, okay. That's one of my passion. I remember when I was a kid, I used to teach the yung mga, mga street children sa kali namin. Sabi ko, lika kayo dito. May tuturo ako sa inyo. May board pa ako. Nagtuturo-turo ako. So it just actually lead me to that way. Ngayon, being the classroom and teaching what you know, Ang sarap mag-aral and ituro yung alam mo. Nagugulat lang ako parang galing sa utak ko tong sinulat ko sa board, parang san galing to. So I think um it just maybe that's my mission in life. That's uh-huh. my purpose in life, you know? Like to be able to like influence people. Either it's going to be in entertaining or teaching or just mentoring mentoring younger generation right now. Tapos kanina, sinabi mo na pagod ka na kumanta, gusto mo na lang mag-DJ. Ano to? Maroon ka na rin, ka na rin mag-DJ. <laughs> kasi di ba, if you like music, you know what, what, what good music what, is. What, what good music is. Uh-huh. At the same time, like, even if I host or if I sing with a band, I read the, the people first. I don't, let's say, even if I set my, le- my list of like 10 songs, first set usually slow. Mm. Ay, mga tao, feel lang kum- sumayaw. Hindi ka pwede mag- Slow, ituloy yung set mo. Mayroon ako iPad. Sabi ko sa banda ko to. You have to keep the flow. Just like how the DJ works, right? right. D- DJ is easy. As, you long, as, you, as long as you know the transition, you have a next song in mind with the same BPM. And then BPM is beats together. per minute. Sa beats per minute, kaya. yes. So for me, kasi pag nagbanda ka, 30 songs a night. Sometimes... Back to back to back. Um, guess, guess yung bosses mo dyan. Bosses ko, kita mo naman, malak na, di ba? Husky oh. na. So, minsan ang ubo siya, especially when you age, right? We were talking about your voice too early, right? Especially we talk a lot. I teach, I... I, I o oh, nga, no, umaga pa lang, dumadaldal ka na. Nag, nag, ano na ako, yung slides ko, and then puyat kakanta ka, puyat, ako. Puyat ka pa. Puyat. And then, so I try to like, sometimes minimize the use of my vocals as much as I can and still be able in a party scene and I see people happy. Diba? Diba DJ is, is fun. I'm not going to be as good as anybody DJ but as long as yung mga simple party lang na transition from one song to one song. <laughs> diba? Mga 90s, mga low, low, mga kanta na mga, uh-huh. diba? Or, you, you know, like California Love, mga Can I Get a What What, mga 90s. So it's easy, and I I just did it like last weekend at Carolina, and, and it's fun. You go to DJ? Mm-mm. First DJ gig ko, oh <laughs> sa Catalina. It was fun. So yeah. meron ka rin Yeah, I got the Serato, the oh! laptop. <laughs> meron ako. I had it like years ago, so, but since like I usually get hired um, to do hosting, 
band, G-Strings band. Okay. Tapos, karaoke. Yeah, yun, nag-uwis yeah. ka ng karaoke. Madami, madami akong gusto gawin sa buhay ko eh. But, I like everything. That's why when people ask me like, hindi ka pa na pag mo, what are you talking about job? I don't even consider anything as a job. This is not a job for me. This is what I like to do. And it just so happened I get paid doing it. So Kalim, parang no? bonus, di ba? Yeah. Now, sinabi mo kanina, reading the crowd. Crowd reading. Very important you sa buhay yan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very important sa buhay yan. Was that innate in you or natutunan mo na lang yan late, uh, uh, later on in life? Hindi. Parang ano na? Natural sa'yo. Natural sayo. na sa akin. Kahit nung bata ka. Mm-mm, parang ganon. Natural na. Like nakikita mo pala yung tao, alam mo na yung kala, yung kala, ano yun? karakas ng tao. Karakas. <laughs> yeah, karakas. Tama, oo. Alam diba? ko na parang nasa sense ko na kaagad. Uh-huh. Parang nasa sense ko na kaagad siya. Pag misa may mga malungkot siya, parang I already mm. sent. Merong alam ko na kaagad, gets ko na, na-assess ko na kaagad. Diba? Yeah. Now, the reading people, how important is that as you weave through life? But it's very important because every time you put yourself in a position of a lot of, yung maraming sa crowd, you know, ano, parang hindi ka annoying, hindi ka obnoxious. Sometimes pag may tao na parang, dali, pakiramdaman mo na muna to before you say something. You cannot be all, all of a sudden be friendly like, huy, ganyan, 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 ganyan. Assess mo na muna. Parang hindi ka obnoxious, di ba? So it's very important in life to, to be able to keep the people around you as well. Right. Kasi pag ikaw yung pag nalaman nila, nako yun na si Gigi, nako ang ingay niya, daldal niyan, ganyan. Oh, oh. Ma- tapos parang hindi mo alam kung paano mag, mag, mag-break sa mga salita mo, people would just gonna stay away from you, just stay away. But if you're gonna be, if alam mo na yung, yung environment mo, you know how to put yourself into that. Lumugar. Lumugar, oo. Di parang cool ka lang, chill ka lang. Kung tamang daldalan daldal kapag kailangan mag-shut up ka muna mag-observe ka muna observe ka you have to apply that in every aspect of your life so ang galing no across the board nagagamit mo yun eh, no? mm-hmm. dapat marunong ka mag-assess ng tao now hecklers because yes. sa, enter- sa entertainment industry mm-hmm. natin daming troll maraming hecklers ah, ako okay. ako lalaki ako eh so okay lang ako eh pero kayong mga babae I I empathize pag kayo na yung na heck na sa sa stage di ba you may mag sisigaw diyan may magsasalita how can you make it not personal and if it does get personal how do you uh, de-escalate the situation paano let's say or tinatadyakan like, mo paano for example like kunya bastos i'm a, i think i'm lucky enough that i've been in the industry for a long time they already some some of them already know me they don't disrespect me kasi meron ako mga tao eh Meron ako mga tauhan na wag mong bastusin yan. Mabubugbog sila. <laughs> Pero nagsisimula ka? Nagsimula ako. Magaling ako makisama sa ganyan. Again, yung going back yeah. to maroon ka lumugar. Mag- Oo, kasi daddy ko, talagang bata pa lang ako, he was um, he drinks a lot. So, maraming sanay na ako sa mga gano'n na, ba, ano, yung background na gano'n na may mga pulutan, mga ganyan. For some reason, siguro talagang nature ko na talaga na Marunong akong lumug- lumugar talaga. Ginagawa ko na lang siguro, I just ignore it. And then maybe eventually show them na wala, parang ignore. Kasi hindi, hindi ka naman pwedeng pumatol sa ganun eh. You can't. Hindi pwedeng patulan eh. Now, They're making a fool of themselves. Pag hindi mo pinatulan. Oo. Kasi pag pinatulan mo. Pag pinatulan mo, lalaki pa yun. Oh, Tapos tsaka, customer ba? sila. Diba? diba? They're paying customers. So, if they're really annoying, like let's say, um, sp- sa Filipino crowd that can happen, but if it's usually like um, non-Filipino, non-Filipino, when I use a bartend, if somebody get really drunk, bouncer, I have a security. I have a oh. excuse. Me, I'm sorry, but you're cut off. <laughs> Gumagano ka? Oh, kakat of ko sila pag alam ko na nalasing nalasing na parang slurring of words, annoying na. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I cannot serve you anymore. You're cut off. The more they're gonna be more aggressive on oh, you, right? Oh yeah. Because the more they're gonna be aggressive on you, I'll be like, I got it. Security <laughs> is out. Sila na bahala don, di ba? Di bang bye? Ganda lang. Oh, bakit di ka palumalagay sa tahimik? I'm enjoying. Ano yare? Like, I'm enjoying ano life so much. Pero 
Pero syempre may mga sad moments. Pero I'm enjoying life so much. Explain. And I like, a, I like my peace of mind. I like my alone time. I like the fact that I can just do my own thing. So sinasakal ka pag may boyfriend ka? Ganun ba yun? Hindi naman. Actually, I'm dating someone right now, but... And uh, strict ba tong... No. Otherwise, oh. I'm not gonna be with him if he's strict. Hindi pa siya, hindi pa siya lumuluhod sa'yo. Hindi pa siya nagpo-propose. Hindi, hindi. Paano pag lumuhod? Naku Ta- po. Tatakbo ka. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hindi ko alam. It will ha- if it if it happens it will happen. Kaya nga if it happens it will happen. What are you going to do when it happens? Yun ang tanong dun eh. Hindi naman, <laughs> hindi naman kung it will happen ang tanong dun is. Uh, oh, para pag nangyari, hypothetical. Pag nangyari 'yun. Paano ba? Hindi ko pa alam, hindi kita ko masagot. Mo, eh. Kita mo, kita mo. Yan yan inobserba ang kita. Parang natatakot ka bigla pag. Ako tuloy. Oh, inom ka muna. Cheers. Cheers for you. Yan. So Is this is this your mom and dad were never separated, no? Oh yeah, they've been they were together. And I guess um I guess up to uh, their last, last moment and on uh, of their lives. Isn't it ironic na nakita mo silang together and yet for some reason ang impression kasi is pag dumarating ka na sa part na magko-commit na. Hey, okay, <laughs> eto na medyo out muna ako. Oo. Siguro may mga talagang taong ganun. Not Being married and having kids is not for everyone. And it just so happened that's type that's the type of person I am. It usually it usually takes a special person to have that kind of lifestyle, to have that kind of choice in life, you know? And sometimes too like I even get tired when people ask me, "Oh, kailan ka magkakapakasal? Kailan ka magkakaanak?" Sometimes it really annoying. Mm. There's a lot of questions that need to be asked. And I don't want that question to be asked for the very So, part. ito ang ito ang hindi yan ang itatanong ko. Ang itatanong okay. ko is this. Paano mo sinabi sa sarili mo na You know what? This is who I am. And ito ang gagawin ko. Hindi pa lang tanong ko. Ang tanong ko is when did you come to terms with yourself? Um as life goes on, as you get older, you know, as you get older and you experience life. That's the best teacher in life experience. Seeing other people not happy with their marriage, <laughs> seeing other people stuck at their home because they get, they can't travel because they're stuck with their kids. Babies are cute, but I mean to wake up in the middle of the night. Tapos hindi ka pwede. Anak ko hindi pwede. 'Di ba? Tapos yung mga kilala ko mga kaibigan ko mga married, they're not happy. Parang Why? Eh, pero sila yun ni. Eh. Hindi naman ikaw well, yun ni. Eh. not for me. Ah. If I'm, if I'm gonna apply to myself, I don't see myself being like that. What do you see yourself being? Ita mo, yan ang tanong ko sa'yo. Ngayon, oh. siguro. Hindi ngayon. Yung, wanna, yung kasi ngayon, nililive mo na yung naisip mo of you. Oh, mm-hmm. yung, siguro eventually, just wanna be able to um, be really stable with my career. Like, make get paid more. That's why I'm inspired by your wife Jaja. She's getting to BSN and I'm oh. planning to be in the uh di ba nga tinas mo ko but gusto ko pa mag-aral. Yeah. They kasi ano they wanna, it's about this. Yeah, it's all about the Benjamins, right? Yeah, um maging gusto ko talaga career career oriented na because education cannot be taken away from you by anybody else. Experience in life and education nobody else can can take that away. So now, what gives you joy aside from the Benjamins? Well, <laughs> meron naman, syempre mga ano, small things too, like friends, people around me, my students. If I see people happy, I, it makes me happy. It's just an, it's an impact. It's a good impact. Like, um, ano ba yung parang, it returns back, oh. yung happiness, kung ano yung mo. So, what, yeah, that's 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 It's quiet, and it's just you. 
and tapos na yung chaos. What sino si Gigi Star sa mga moment na yun? Sometimes I do have like worries in life, right? And loneliness. Like what worries you and what gets worries you lonely? about san kaya ako pagtanda ko, san kaya ako mag-end up, sino mag-aalaga sa akin, di ba? Kasi it will happen. Well, that's something that um we want that to happen. Gusto ako gusto mo tumanda. Gusto mo na? Hindi, ako gusto ko tumanda. Ayoko gusto. mamatay ng mabang ah. ng gantong edad. Ayoko. Gusto mo tumanda. Gusto I mean, tumanda. you know, I'm thinking about maybe I can retire back in the Philippines with my, yung nang naipon ko dito plus yung social security, di ba? Kasi malaki na yun sa Philippines. May maid ka, may ganyan. And plus, I have a lot of nieces and nephew back in the Philippines. My brothers are all there. Mm-hmm. So maybe doon, I'm thinking about that too. I'm already thinking about that because I don't want to end up in a nursing home right here. Tsaka mahal mga caregiver dito. Oh. Yeah. So sometimes I worry about that. But but I'm thinking like, misa di ba? May moment ka rin na ganun, di ba? Dami. But, oh, exactly. I think it's a human human nature talaga na may ganyan. Pero ka, ako ginagawa ko, tinutulog ko na lang. Talaga? And then, pagkagising ko, it's another day. Masaya na naman ako. Let's talk about that. Pagkagising mo, it's another day. People forget that. Pino problema nila yung bukas o yung nangyari kahapon. Yeah. Can you can you help me remind them? How do you remind yourself na pagkagising mo today is today I will live in the moment. How do you do that? I think you just have to uh, live in live in the moment. Like kung ano yung, kung meron kang plan for the day, then then go through it. And it's very important to like um, health as well. It's good to work out. Do a little bit of Pilates Ginagawa or yoga. Mo. Oh, you made ako ngayon yung class pass. It's an app. It's called Class Pass. So wherever I am, I just have to like look for a place where, where I can do Pilates or any type of workout, and I do that at least kahit, twice or three times. Kaya ka. Tinan nagnanap ako pero as much as I can, <laughs> I, I love naps right now. And then, but as much as I can, I would try to. Ang Pilates only 15 minutes lang ang Pilates. 15 Korean. Nakaiga, yeah. Tapos nakaiga ka uh-huh. lang. Pero mga machine, but it's really good. Yeah. So yun ang ginagawa ko. Tapos. Or sometimes I'll just um, go to my soul. There's a lot of ways now not to be sad. Kasi ang dapat, iba mo yung perspective mo eh. Iba ang dapat ng perspective Share mo. Share that to us. Yeah. You don't need to block yourself. Let's say you see somebody's like happy. Kunyari, may nakita ko sa social media na parang bumili ng grito, nagtatravel. Parang ang, pag ang perspective mo hate, jealousy mm, ang lalabas yes. sa'yo. Envy, pero pag, you know, pero pag nakita mo parang you'll be happy for them, parang wow, you have to be inspired by other people. You don't have to think of them as a threat. You don't have to think of them like parang inget. You need to block all negativity in your brain. You know? Pero sometimes may hirap yung ganun eh. Yeah. Siguro you have to nourish yourself. Like, like, I, like I said, like you have to work out. You have to like eat good, I think. Don't, don't put all junk food, which I'm guilty sometimes. I <laughs> eat mga bad food. Pero dapat yung try mong magkain ng healthy. Yeah. Para yung yung mind mo uh, ma-clear din. Yeah. Okay. Tsaka yo, yung tsaka isipin mo yung mga 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 yung mga yung ibang tao na mas less fortunate na nandito sa ganito. You always have to think about that. You're wherever you are, you are still lucky that you're Mayroon alive. Meron ka pusong ganoon eh. Meron yeah. ka attitude of gratitude yeah, kasi. Yeah. Miski mga negative things that happen to me, I always think about much worse things can happen. But I'm here, I'm alive. I have my two hands, I have my two feet. Or if I go to my clinical when I do my nursing, I teach, right? I'll see yung mga pasyente na nakahiga, na naka, nakatrick. Iba na hindi nakalakad. So I'm still grateful mm-hmm. of the life that I have. Correct. Because I'm healthy, I'm not sick. I have my two feet, I have my two hands. My, my, you know, my two arms and my two feet. Tapos, pag nasa-stress ka, kasi may moments na minsan hindi mo mapigil oh, nasa-stress oh, oh. ka eh. How do you deal with that? You talk to your uh, good friend, to your best friend. You need to have somebody to talk to. Yeah. Importante, no? Importante. Or ayaw mong i-share, mag- talk to yourself. Mag-meditate ka. Magdasal ka. Yan. Please tell my viewers and uh, listeners the importance of meditation. Like yung sinasabi yan eh. Mm-mm. How important is it? In- Meditate kasi parang, ano eh, parang yung, self, yun yung self-reflection mo sa buhay. Self-reflection, but what did I do wrong today that made me, yung nag- nag-end up ng ganito? Ano dapat kong gawin? Kausapin mo yung sarili mo. Is it easy for you to admit mistakes? Oo naman. O ma-pride ka? Oo. Kasi nung bata ako, ma-pride ako. Ngayon tumatanda ka na parang, you ha- if you know, if, especially if you're wrong, you have to admit it. 
mas magaan sa loob. Kailan mo, kailan mo na-discover yan at bakit mo na-discover yan? Kasi dati, pag hindi ka pwede maging magmataas palagi. Kasi pag malagi mataas, wala mangyari sa'yo. Parang sinuloko mo yung sarili mo. Diba? Niloko mo yung sarili mo. Let's say, as a person hurt you, you just have to forgive but you don't have to be with them. Eh, paano kung ikaw ang nakasakit? Paano kung sinabi ng... Ah, alam ko. Alam ba, sinabi ko sa'yo, alam mo, alam mo, bad trip kay Ide-deny mo o hindi? I, I, I need to assess the situation. <laughs> Napaka-nurse eh, no? Napaka-teacher eh. I need to assess alam the mo, situation. Alam mo, G, bad trip ka. Hindi ko na gusto niyo ginawa mo kanina. Ano yung sasabihin mo sa'yo? Sabihin ko, ano, what happened? I need to eh, know the iniwan reason. Iniwan mo ako eh. Ah, iniwan. Okay. Sabihin ko, Usapan agad. natin, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Yeah. Nagpunta lang ako ng banyo. Pagbalik ko, wala na. The first thing that I would do would I would apologize. Okay, so gagawin mo. Oh, ano? right away. Ah, ano, eh, tagal mo sa banyo eh. Oo, oh, oh. and then ako first talaga, ano ko, habang tumatanda ako, nagiging people pleaser ako eh. That's bad also. Yeah, it's bad. But at the same time, I would probably please them. But at the same time, you're not going to hear from me. Tapos. Explain that, please. Kailangan natin marinig yung part na yan. Yeah, hindi. Kunyari, ano, nagkaroon kami ng misunderstanding. It's, but it's more on their fault. Mm-hmm. But some people, don't, sometimes they don't know their fault, right? If I'm going to reassess things, alam ko mali ako, sorry. Alam ko mali sila, still apologize. But after that, na. wala na. So you don't have a problem cutting people off? Hello? Wow. Ikaw nga, base mag-black, di ba? <laughs> Nagsabi lang ang cute mo, <laughs> nakablock na. <laughs> Cutting people off, I only need two, Podcast three. Podcast episode mo to ha? Ba't ba- ako yun eh? Alam mo, ang sa akin yun, pag uh, when you get older, you only need two, three people in your life that matters to you. Yeah. And that's that's how it is. And at the same time, pinaka-importante pag tumanda ka na, yung sarili mo lang. Hindi tayo makarelate. Hindi pa tayo matanda eh. I know. We're at the peak. <laughs> We're actually at the peak right now. Di ba? Peak pa rin. Peak pa rin. Oh, peak pa rin Now, tayo. Itong, itong scene natin, itong sinabanggit mo kanina si Mick. Di ba? Nandiyan si na Mick. Andito ang Paco's Place. Ang daming nag-uusbungan. Ang daming na talaga. Di ba? Compared dun dati tayo. Yes. Di ba? Oo. And again, I go back. No? Kung nasa, nasa YouTube yan yung mga episode nyo. Ah, talaga? Oh, I think pinost yata ni Nolly yan eh. Marami. I can look, always look back. Yeah. Matagal na. Matagal na. <laughs> Go, looking back, no, na, is there, um, again, sinabi mo, hindi ka nainggit, you're inspired by other people, pero, ako, pwede ako maging guilty rin at some point. But, itong mga taong to have been moving forward, wala pa bang nagsasabi sa'yo na, halika, may major show si ganito, si ganyan, sali ka. Major show. Because, ang dami ko nakikita na ano eh, na mga nag-guest sa mga major shows. I did that already. I'm iba, already... iba yung did that sa, sa, sa still doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm way past that now. So, you tumatanggi ka na sa ganun? Hindi na, kasi... Put the mic closer. The selling of di- tickets. Hindi ko gusto yun. Selling of tickets. Hindi ko gusto yun. Selling of tickets. Kaya nga, oh, parang... As, anong, take, anong take mo doon? Kasi ako kasi, ang sa akin ngayon, relax na lang ako eh. Dahil I already, I already did my part nung dati na parang sobrang aggressive ako na kailangan mag front act. Right now, either you know me or not. I don't care. Pero anong take mo doon? Yung, yung mag-ibenta ng ticket, hello? Baka maano. Kasi syempre producer ang kumikita doon. Paano naman yung mga front act natin dito right. mga LA, di ba? Nagpapa, nagpapakain siya magbenta ng ticket just to make a little, a little amount of money. Tapos, pag dumating na yung star ng galing from the Philippines, wala na. Wala. Naku, pag nag-dinner na, wala na. Di, ano ka na, patapos na nakabenta ka na sa poor 20 tickets, wala na. That's always been an issue for the film community. I used to do a lot of front acts before, but now, no. Either you pay me, I'll promote, but I shouldn't be obligated to sell tickets. I agree. And you know what, yung, yung yan, uh, I would love to invite you for a panel para pag-usapan sure, yan. Sure, let's because, do it. Because yung, yung, yan pagbebenta ng tickets. Mm-hmm. I have I have issues. Mm-hmm. Para sa akin, you want to be part of the show. Sa akin lang ah, mm-hmm. you want to be part of the show. Hindi naman kita kailangan sa show. What will you bring to the table? Mm-hmm. Pwede namang hindi ka kasali. Mm-hmm. Pero yung obligahin mo na yung tao na magbenta ng ticket. Ang ginagawa kasi nila diyan, meron ka ng post ano, uh, post dated check probably the cost of the ticket probably going to be 1500 right? Either if you sell it or not. Oh my God. Tatanggal lang yung 1500 so pag na, Para pag benta mo, dalawa lang. So parang pag nag, magpa-front act ka, ang mangyayari, binayaran mo mag-front act ka, magbayad ka ng 1500 just to sing two songs. Am I right or wrong? Tama. Oh. 
Because gina- I know it. You know what? Ang ginawa namin. Pero, pag alam nila kagad yung artist, you don't even have to sell it. They're just gonna come up to you. Meron ka ba? May kanila ka ba sa ganito? Na take it. Then, that's when you really like, here, contact me producer. I got people asking me for tickets. And then that's yeah. the best way to, to sell it. But for me, siguro, di ba, pag na-mature ka na nga. <laughs> How about this? Para, kala ko nakalimutan na. Okay. Then, 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 then. Mm. Having all this wisdom, having this, um, may, may monetary um, freedom ka na, meron kang kaalaman sa industriya, you can, ano eh, you can do what the Gart Garcias are doing or the Papa Aras <laughs> Papa Chagas. You can, uh-huh. you can do that eh. Why do you choose not to? Because uh, it's too much work. It's stressful. Anything that's going to stress me, I try to get rid, uh, no, get away from it. You know, why? Why do you need the stress for if you're already like having enough of money? Because more of the producing and all that is like you have, you have to put out a lot of money, you have to sell tickets, you have to really be out there to really talagang, di ba? Kasi pag, pag walang nag-show up, pag hindi bumalik ang pera mo, Stressful. Do I want to be in that situation? I'm good where I'm at. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'll, I'll guest, especially for birthdays, I, I go to like, free yan, mga yan, okay lang. Pero mga hosting, syempre mga, you know, I don't need to, to make that much, much when it comes to entertainment. Because for me, that's my passion. But I don't want to add, add additional stress in my life. So sino si Gigi Star? Sino ako? <laughs> si Glenda Galura. GG star. Um, sino ba ako? Um, somebody that, that's just like um, want people to be happy. That's a, actually a very tough question. But um, I'm somebody that um, would like to make an impact to other people, to mentor other people, to be able either a good example or a bad example, you know? Good in a way that just pick whatever's good in me and whatever's bad, just throw it away. And um, I'll keep on moving forward in life and be able to just like be a mentor to everyone. <laughs> just continue, just be happy, continue with life and walang pressure and walang stress. That's who you are. Yeah. For, I want to be just free spirit. Parang not stuck in one place when it comes to like relationship <laughs> just living one day at a time ladies and gentlemen Gigi Star. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, support Gigi Star, follow her on social media. Dalagay natin lahat sa baba, sa description. If you like what you watched, please share and help us grow the community.